Hello, everybody, and welcome to Starnet Link. And today, I thought I would go ahead and do another video diary of information that I have learned. Um, right after I made my two previous videos that are going to be posted pretty soon, um, I started getting um, attacked, um, energy attacked. On Friday night, Saturday morning, I was hit with a very bad migraine, a terrible bad migraine. And then I slept all day Saturday and all Saturday night. And then Sunday morning, I felt like I was coming down with something sick, like I was becoming sick. And this kind of confirmed that I am a targeted individual, that what I'm talking about is important and also important for other people to know. Um, I do have, I do have a lot of um, experiences in my um, life. And as a result, um, I also have positive and negative experience. As a result, um, when people who want to have an actual experiences with off-worlders, um, you need to understand that the government system knows who is being taken and who isn't. And these individuals who normally have experiences usually get targeted by either synagonic weapons or energy attacks, prosperity attacks, whatever you want to name it when I was talking about in my earlier videos. So whenever that you want an experience from an off-worlder, just know that the government is watching you and watching your experiences. And this is what I have learned from my therapy group, which confirms some of my experiences. I will have experiences where I will be taken by positive beings. Then right after my positive experience, the government will come in and interrogate you in your dream state or astral. This is the reason why I think sometimes people who wake up with certain marks or bruises or um, wake up extremely sore, it's not because of your ET experiences, but your military experiences after that you've been taken from these positive beings that the government comes in and starts interrogating you in your astral or dream state. And it sort of sometimes reflects in your physical body or in your physical form. Um, the government really wants to keep control and keep an eye out on who's being taken who's not for important or sensitive information there has been people that have been killed and there has been people whose entire careers have been sabotaged by fake channeling by handlers you name it and even though that even though that I'm just one person, I do know that there is many, many more individuals that are going through what I'm going through and also extremely afraid to speak out due to personal reasons, due to religious reasons, due to all sort of religion, all different types of reasons. This is not a religious issue. This is a governmental and spiritual evolution issue that is going on around the world, globally, amongst people. This is a fight for spiritual freedom, and this is also a fight for a positive and benevolent future for the human race. I do know that our government is working with ETs that are not in the best interest for humankind. And this has been going on for decades. Um, the one of the things that they don't tell people and that I have started to come out with or starting to talk about is that there is a lot of galactic violations happening on this planet. 
Um, one of the galactic violations that I have come across that is starting to become extremely popular, which is also known as DNA infusion, which is also known as biohacking. DNA infusion is illegal in the galaxy or by the galactic authority. And yes, it does go under the radar. The number one reason why it is considered a violation is due to the fact that you're taking blood or plasma from a alien race and injecting it into your own body and not really understanding the whole entire scope or side effects that come along with it. And usually when DNA infusion or biohacking is done is usually as a way to enhance a certain type of ability, whether it's telekinesis, whether it's telepathy, well it's physical strength, whatever it is, is just used. It is not used to medically help a person. And that's the reason why it's illegal. Not only that, but you don't know the ramifications that it has on just yourself. There has been instances where DNA infusion has literally created genetic monsters and created an entire issue around it, in a sense. What a lot of people don't really realize is that even though that you are physically fit and mentally fit to do DNA infusion, what comes after is the after effect. Can you actually handle it? Can you handle the intensity of what this experiment is doing to you? And oftentimes, no, it doesn't. There is instances where DNA infusion is used as a positive way to correct, I want to say, t- pseudoscience experiments on a person. Um, this is includes, and this includes when you are forcibly taken into a science experiment and they mess around with your genetics. And DNA infusion is a way to order to correct that. DNA infusion is only supposed to be used for health reasons, in order to improve the quality of life of a being. And it is not in a way to be used as a way to enhance a certain type of ability. That's the reason why it's illegal. The other thing is, is that they don't also tell you that they're got the galactic violation is that a lot of people or a lot of scientists want to go to Mars. Whether or not we've been to Mars or not or created an entire civilization on Mars, Mars belongs to the natives of Mars. And us going there and building civilization is us basically taking over their planet. Mars does belong to the natives, and we have to respect their rules and their rules and guidelines. And yes, we do have a right to learn how to create and build alliances with other beings, but not in the way of where it creates total chaos and war and bloodshed. As a result, I do know that a lot of people will think that I'm crazy, but the reality is, is that the same thing has happened to us. There has been instances in human history where there have been attempted attempts by alien races in the past of human history that try to undermine the human race throughout human history, and they've been reported several times by the Galactic Authority. There are beings and races that watch over this planet at planet like a fine-toothed comb. As a result, I'm not here as a savior. I'm not here as a person that's supposed to help people. I'm just a messenger. I'm supposed to deliver this message to other people. The other thing that is another galactic violation is violating the free will amongst people. When it comes to contract or government contracts or messing around with soul contracts or a person's essence or soul, whether it means by going back in time and screwing up a timeline or whatever type of program you're 
going on with, whether it's with taking young kids into these government programs and brainwashing them, there is a free will violation. So as such, due to the fact that we also have a free will violation, free will violation also means soul fracturing. If you understand what soul fracturing is, um, even though that I'm not a therapist, I don't diagnose people, but soul fracturing is also known as DID or identity or identity disorder or multi-personality disorder. And basically what it essentially does is that when a young person um, is constantly being in an environment where it's harmful or abusive, will sometimes split or fracture um, memories or fracture their personality to the point where people can use it or undermine a child's development into these programs, which is also known as soul fracturing. Soul fracturing is also taking an essence of a person and putting it into either a cyborg or a clone. That is also another violation of the galaxy due to the fact that it violates free will. Um, due to the fact that they don't know the ramifications of how it will affect the individual soul. And there's a reason for it. When you mess around with a person's soul, it can have huge dramatic ramifications, not only on the person, but also other people that are involved with it as well. This ramification can also affect multi-personalities across multi-different spectrums on a interdimensional and multi-dimensional level of a person's evolutionary scale, not only for the person, but also for the human race as well. If you understand the reason or the history of the human race and what I was talking about in my earlier videos, you will understand that, that Earth is a semiotic or a semio planet. So when these things are being done to an individual where soul fracturing is done, you're not only harming that person, you are also harming the planet as well. And this has ramifications on a much global scale. This is also the number one reason why I think mental health is becoming a huge issue on this planet due to soul fracturing and due to the, the tense amounts of abuse that's been going on amongst children across the globe. If you understand a little bit about um, cult understand about different government programs or understanding that over the years that people have been trying to speak out about what's actually been going on and they have been silenced or been killed. This is true. And it's really, really hard to talk about this stuff because a lot of people will not believe me or what of the stuff that I'm talking about might be actually in totally you know, far-fetched for a lot of people. But people need to understand and know that no one is coming to save us. There is no savior. There is nothing coming to save us or help us. We have to learn as the human race to overcome it. For the people that are working in these government programs, you don't have to work for these individuals that are doing these abusive things or crimes against humanity. You can stand up and say no. We can fight back against this. We do not have to work with these corrupt ETs or corrupt things just because you want power or just because this is happening ramifications and karmic law will be repaid and it's coming soon and it's coming fast you can no longer hide your crimes of what you are doing as such even though that i'm a messenger and due to the fact that a lot of people don't necessarily believe me i do know that there are instances where some stuff that I know and other people that are energy sensitive knows that there is a huge vibrational shift going on with the planet right now.
I do feel like the reason why there is a huge vir- environmental or vibrational event occurring is due to the fact that the planet is trying to release this negative energy that has been sealed within the planet and trying to release it. There has been instances where the planet will fight back and we will see things that we have not seen in a very long time come forward. Us as the human race, we have an extraordinary ability to overcome hurdles and burdens of our lives and we can become a thriving utopia of the human race. But the question is, is whether or not that we can overthrow or whether or not that we can change who is actually in charge. In my previous video, I've been talking about how the Illuminati family has been ruling this planet for who knows how long. But the question mostly stands is, are we actually able to function without them actually ruling every single facet of our lives? And that's what the main question is. Like, are we ready as a civilization to take charge and come together as one and fix the problems as humanity as we continue and growing as a civilization? Religion, government, and so many other issues will come alight and so many things will come prevalent. And what we know is is that do not give in to fear do not give in to the fear propaganda and we can fight against this and we can have a prosperity timeline or have prosperity where we can build proper positive alliances with our galactic families or our galactic neighbors so this is the message that i sort of wanted to talk to about a lot of people but it will be really interesting to hear what other people have to say. Um, Thank you so much for listening to my videos, watching, subscribing, or sharing my videos with other people who might be interested in hearing these. Um, can really help and support my channel. If you have any questions, please email me on my business email or messages below. And thank you so much for listening.